hi. Uh, I just bought this uh, large combo set and I wanted to open it up and uh, do a little review and show you what's inside the box with all these uh, power drills and a flashlight and the saw. I got a really good deal at Loves today. Uh, these are usually $330 for the whole set and I got it for $200 which is really good and I needed a new drill anyway. So this just came in perfect. I wanted to try out the Bosch tools because I've been using uh, rigid. Uh, I got these as a gift and uh, they're okay, but they're not as powerful as I would like them to be. And then I've been using uh, the Vault 2, but this one, you can smell it, it's burning. So something went wrong and um, I was uh, doing uh, assembling a playground for the kids and I was using these for the, these really big bolts and I guess it died because of that. I, I, I think I overdid it. Uh, I had it for three years, almost three years, and it just went dead. So I thought I'd give uh, Bosch a try and uh, let's see. Here we go. It comes with a nice big bag which I don't ever use because I keep my tools in my uh, cabinets or on the racks or in my toolbox but it's nice to have so here's everything here we go so one of these blades is for uh, metal and uh, one is for wood I'm gonna start with the bag. They placed all these uh, drills inside the bag. So we're gonna take them out, unwrap them. I don't ever use these, but they're nice to have. So here's the first drill. And here's the second one impact drill, impact driver this is where they uh, put the flashlight in oh, no, it's the charger this is the flashlight right here So you can see. And uh, this is the saw. Nice and heavy. Feels good in hands. I'm gonna start with the drills because most people use the drills the most. And uh, I think you'd like to see them first in action. Okay, so here is the impact driver. I'm gonna move it right here so you can see it better in light. Here's the serial number that they uh, placed on top, serial sticker number, and uh, they have a uh, Right here, you can check uh, if the battery is charged fully. Now this one obviously needs charging, but it still works. Okay. And uh, here is the other drill. This here seems to be metal, which I like. And you have the hammer and you can rotate the knob here if you want to drill or drive screws. This is how you unhook the battery. So it's not too heavy, these are the smaller ones, but um, 
I'm gonna see how long they last. It has a light here when you turn on, it comes on. It feels good in hands. It's uh, balanced. It's uh, not too long, as you can see right here, which makes it easy to uh, put it in uh, places that are tight. Okay. Here is the charger. Not sure if you can hook it up and uh, hang it on the wall, which I like to do right here, as you can see. So I'm gonna see if this can be hanged somehow like this, right here, somewhere around this corner. But there is really nothing here that allows you to do that. So I um, might just leave sitting here like that. Here's the flashlight. I'm gonna use one of these batteries. You can do like so and uh, store it away. And when you need it, you can just uh, lift it up Go all the way down or all the way out. There's a little hook. Uh, when I saw this on a picture on the website, it was like this, and I thought that'd be kind of um, in my way, but I didn't know you could just put this back here, which is really cool. And then there's that button to turn it on. It's really, as you can see, let me show you. So it's, it's powerful, it doesn't point to one direction, it kind of spreads out the light and uh, that's good if you want to work in a space uh, where you need a lot of light and it points to uh, let's say three or four feet uh, wide, then this is good, it's not like a regular flash but it just points in one, uh, at one spot. So this allows you to see everything that's uh, within a radius of like uh, three, four, or maybe even five feet. So I'm gonna turn it off. And uh, it's, uh, the light is itself is really light. The weight is not there. Uh, the only way that comes is from the battery here. And then I guess that makes it uh, it's not gonna fall off or down like you know it's not gonna be easily tipped over so that's that's good I don't think. okay next Let's see about the saw right here okay so once you put the battery on it uh, like when you take it off the weight is here and it kind of goes down and it is heavy it's really heavy but once you put the battery on, and even if you get one of those bigger batteries, then it balances it well. It's still heavy. You know, maybe you could use it with two hands like this. But with one hand, it kind of, it kind of, it could be a drain on your hands if you are working with it for long times. But I'm going to take this out and then try one of these blades. So you, okay, so this is what you do. There's this little wheel here that you twist, you turn it, you can take it out. And then when you, when you wanna put it in, just turn it back to the right, push the blade in and it will stay, okay? There is a lock button here, safety, okay? And then you just push it in and then now you can use it, let's see. Well, I guess we need a battery for that. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. As you can see, right here. It's big. This is uh, probably almost two feet long with the blade. Okay. I'm gonna 
use these tools all later because I'm doing a little project here and I'm going to use them and you'll see them in uh, action. Now I'm going to show you the charger Just so you have an idea what everything looks like before the purchase. Okay, so here's the charger. And then just take the battery out, slide it in, and then it's blinking green. I suppose that shows us that it's charging. And then I'm gonna let you know later, it's 11.47 now, so it's almost noon. I'm gonna let you know how long it took to uh, fully charge this battery. As we can see the light is now fully green and it's one o'clock now so I'm assuming it took it about an hour to charge. Now I'm going to do a test cut here with this uh, saw and I'm gonna take this uh, board right here and just do a little cut so you can see how it works. Now it has a light here too which is nice. Uh, one thing that I don't like so far about uh, the drills and all these tools that came this set um, with them being uh, the Bosch brand name is the light does not stay on like after you see you press the trigger and it will not stay on as opposed to rigid that stays on even uh, for a few seconds after you're done drilling or cutting and it kind of it can um, you can use it as a light that way as a flashlight if you're working in a dark place or in a dark corner once you release a trigger the flashlight will stay on and give you some additional light but oh well so here we go It's not loud, it's actually really quiet, it's smooth and uh, it's uh, controllable. So if you hold it with one hand like this and then you hold the board with the other hand, you can still control this so it's not gonna uh, jump or wiggle and uh, so far so good. Now I'm gonna show you uh, a little demonstration of uh, these uh, new drills. Okay, so this is just a regular. So this is what I have. This is what I like to use. The one with the magnet, and it's uh, easy to go to places if you only use one hand, and you can just uh, uh, lift it up above yourself or uh, on an um, awkward angle. And then you can just unscrew it. And then the impact drill. I like using these screws here. Uh, they're meant for outside for decks. But I like using them uh, anywhere where I need power and uh, accuracy. So here we go. See right here. Okay. Again, the light here, as you can see, it doesn't stay on. So rigid stays on. See, I can just set it there and it will 
go for uh, go on for a few seconds and uh, if you're in a dark place it can help you and uh, even with this uh, broken devout see it stays on and Bosch decided not to do that and I wish they did but see oh well so this has been the review for this combo kit of an uh, impact driver and the drill flashlight and the saw thank you for watching